So we're on our way to Eastern Creek, the Ford Drive store. So my cousin uh, Bobby uh, owns uh, TJM in uh, Chipping Norton. I know they've got a sort of a surprise. I know they've been building, building me something, so I, I haven't seen it yet. I uh, don't know uh, too much about it, so I think I'm going to be uh, showing some surprise by something, but uh, it's going to be a good day anyway, so we're going to do a bit of cooking with Volk. Got Tyson back here, who's uh, going to help us with the cook. So I appreciate that, mate. No problem. But um, yeah, like, like I said, uh, Bobby uh, and they do a great job and they're building me something, so I know it's going to be impressive. So let's check it out. All right. So uh, we have a Toyota Land Cruiser 300 Series, a VX model. Uh, it's had a T TJM Ventura bar fitted with the integrated white bar with all the safety features, dual compatible sensors, front view camera. We've also installed a 12,000 pound synthetic rope winch uh, with synthetic rope. There's an 80 channel unit in UHF and underbody protection. Uh, the vehicle's had a superior engineering uh, GVM upgrade. It is now 4200 with a three and a half inch lift. It is a pre-rego. It, it is also legal for 35 inch tires. Um, only applicable to pre-registration. Uh, it has the electronically controlled shocks and struts fitted to it. So the vehicle just returned last week from ASG 4x4. Uh, we've had the vehicle converted to a dual cab. With the dual cab, we've opted for the uh, 700 mil extension uh, to fit a full-size dual cab tray or canopy on the rear of it. So most of them are going on the uh, 600s. Uh, we've opted for the 7. We want the full-size canopy on the back. This vehicle will be a, a touring vehicle. So with all the electronics and battery systems and, and gear to go in there, we utilise as much space as possible. The conversion was done by ASG 4x4 up in Toowoomba and Rockley. Uh, and we uh, took about three months and it's integrated uh, all the factory harnessing. Uh, as you can see, it's um, all re-harnessed and it's extended um, full, un full trim inside. All the paintwork's been done, uh, integrated toolboxes on either side. So. With the ASG uh, conversion, basically they've, uh, behind the dog leg here of, of a normal wagon, they've completely cut the body. Uh, then to do the chassis extension, they've actually cut the whole chassis off in half, or the rear section, they've taken that back. Um, they've uh, strengthened and extended the chassis, uh, welding it inside, treating it for rust treatment and paint treatment. Um, they've also had to do tail shaft extensions and a number of other things with harnessing and wiring and so forth. Uh, they've put their mounting system for a uh, tray or body. Uh, it's, it's all integrated. This is all pre-rego work. For, uh, so the rear wheels move back 700. Uh, you'll probably find that the body from here would go another half a metre yep. to, to a metre. Um, with this chop, one of the reasons we went with ASG is that the setting position on the second row uh, is still maintained where it's not upright. They are adjustable seats, so it's quite comfortable. So leg room is, is important and so is the seating upright position. So if you're on, on long trips, if you've got the kids or some adults in there, they can sit there comfortably. Um, they've also integrated the um, storage area here with a uh, push button switch and that's on a pressure lock. So that'll open up. So that's extra storage there. So utilizing all the space and options and it's just a clamp push. At the moment, we're ordering the, uh, the wheels with the 18 offset positive um, and 35 inch tires. We're going with the Toyos. We're waiting for them to come in. Uh, on Monday, it'll go to Norweld in uh, Wetherill Park, Sydney. It's getting a new elite tray fitted and a full size uh, canopy. So hopefully in about a week or so, we will have this vehicle back and start fitting out the canopy. Update on the uh, 300 series so far is uh, obviously we've got Norwell tray on the back of the vehicle. Um, working with the uh, probably the best canopy and tray manufacturer in Australia. We have a uh, full size dual cab tray by Norweld, the new Elite tray and uh, removable canopy which is on the other end of the workshop where the boys are starting to fit out. Beautiful workmanship, uh, obviously in our opinion the best tray and canopy you can get on the market. So, with the rear, so there's the rear trundle drawer at the back of the, back of the vehicle, fully dust proof. In front of that is a water tank. 
Uh, on the driver's side here in front of the wheel arch is your tap and your filler is in the headboard and the tank is just there in front of the trundle. Thankfully for the large uh, lift kit in the, from Superior, you can clearly see where the uh, tank and trundle finish. Toolbox is in the rear. So the rear toolboxes on the Norwell trays are double sealed to ensure that they're fully dustproof. Um, again, it's the attention to detail that Norwell does is why we've chosen them as for this build. Same on either side. Passenger side, we have our filler neck also. Uh, the vehicle's still getting a Brown Davis long range tank to be fitted. Uh, running out of time, we've got the uh, Sydney four wheel drive show coming up. So we'll see if we get it done by then. Fully dustproof. Um, you have a little bench there so you can uh, obviously prep for work or tools um, and it's fully removable. Um, so it, it is also designed so that you can, even though it's a tight fit, slide it forward and back. Uh, accessing things if you are at the rear or the front of the trundle and you can remove it if required. So as you can see we've done a, a bit of electrical work um, running cables for the canopy uh, of the main battery for the DC charger. We've also got some other extra outlets here for ignition pickup, parker and so forth for the equipment that we're going to fit into the canopy itself. So at the back here on the headboard we've added a couple of Deutsch plugs. Uh, they're obviously for the roof rack platform for the cabin itself. Uh, we have work lights on either side, uh, light bar on the front. Uh, they'll all be independently switched in the car which you can see that the dash is pulled apart and where we're adding those. Um, another addition that's recently happened is the power boards from Clearview. Because uh, of the extension they, they go in there neatly underneath the seal panel. They extend down further, easier to get into, so if you're a little bit uh, vertically challenged, I call it, they, they do help. So, one good thing for Alex. So the Clearview uh, power boards obviously work automatically on opening and closing the door. There is also a safety feature where you can hold them outside, uh, and it's all automatic wired into the vehicle. Around the front now, uh, you can also see that um, it looked like a vehicle that had missed leg day, and now we've got the 35-inch tyres on there. We've opted with the Toyos open countries because uh, the load rating and the speed size they're a full 35 inch by 12 and a half on an 18 inch rim we've opted for the method racing wheels which is the 314 hd has a load rating of 1651 because the superior outback gvm upgrade of 4200 we need a minimum of 1250 and these are wheels that will uh, suit for that and with the flares fitted to the vehicle and the rear tray they are uh, sitting there nicely so giving us plenty of um plenty of clearance having a a uh, three and a half, four inch lift in a in a vehicle with small wheels just doesn't it's look at, yeah. It's not a proportion to the vehicle. So with the addition of the wheels, as you can see from last time we, we did a video, it's coming together. So it's starting to look like a proper package and um, everything's suitable. Suspension and wheel size should be uh, considered uh, to, match, to work together. On the front, we've got the, the base uh, from Light Force with the amber filter. We've chosen the amber filter for light color. We've found that a lot of people are finding that it's not as harsh on the eyes and long, long drives uh, because of the light color. Uh, light color is very important when choosing your driving lights. A brighter is not always better. Uh, light quality is, is uh, very, very important. And if you have the right uh, light color, you can do those long drives for hours on end um, without getting as tired. Um, the other advantage of the amber is uh, insects. So it doesn't, with the white light, it attracts insects, while the amber it doesn't. So uh, the, the boys obviously working hard and we're, we're a little bit time poor at the moment in terms of trying to get this built together. Um, as you can see, the dashboard is actually pulled apart. We have the uh, electronic control dampening for the superior outback remote rear shocks. There's the light force beast control on the left there, the light bar for the bull bar, the light bar on the roof rack. There's a Starlink switch there that'll turn the, uh, the Wi-Fi on and off uh, for when you're traveling and gives you uh, internet anywhere in Australia. So the vehicle's also got uh, electric brakes from Red Arc, Tow Pro, and the boys have wired up all the 12 pin plug to the rear for the uh, caravan that uh, Alex will be towing. Yeah, as you can see here is the uh, Rhino Rack platform that's off the cab. We've added some solar panels. Uh, the canopy will be getting a 300 amp hour lithium battery system, AC charging, DC charging, and obviously solar. So there's a fair bit of panels going there because Volk does uh, cooking with Volk. We've uh, ensured that he has enough power to use air fryers, induction cooktops, electric smokers on the back of the vehicle and compressor. Right, no, right. <laughs> leave it, leave it. Have you ever put an air fryer in a building?
Is that a, is that a no, this is the first that we've put an air fryer in a, in a build. Uh, we've obviously uh, taken consideration of what he actually does in his uh, in his leisure. So we're trying to give him all the options for cooking. So be Maybe it. Anyone's done it? It's probably been. Uh, I dare say it has been. Uh, it just everybody has their preferences and custom builds is uh, is what you do. So you got to give a solution for your client and, and what they're building and what their uh, dreams and hopes are. Yeah. So so instead of a secondary spare or a jerry can holder, we were leaving this completely for the barbecue to be uh, added here. So that Green Mountain Grill Trek Smoker will be mounted at uh, working height to the, to the bracket system here. Uh, there's no need for an extra jerry can as he's got long range fuel tank getting fitted and the caravan itself will have water on board and so does the tray. We've uh, given him all the cooking options that he needs. So We fitted two more uh, Victron uh, solar panels to the uh, top of the canopy. And if you can see in the center there, we've got a Starlink system, uh, which will run through into the canopy. It'll be powered all internally. Here's the, um, the canopy itself. As you can see on the canopy, we're running uh, some cabling in. Anderson plug at the front is the connector and the cables have been running through there. Uh, we have the lighting for the doors which are the core lighting of the 42, 48 inch. Running through the doors to the back, we'll have a couple of work lights. We've got a external AC charger getting fitted there to charge the lithium batteries when you're on site or at home. There'll also be an Anderson plug on the passenger side at the top there, which will be for the smoker. So the Green Mountain Grill has that 12 volt advantage where you can plug it into, the, in, into a power source and run 12 volts. So if you're off the grid, you can uh, barbecue, which is, uh, everyone's dream really. So uh, within the canopy, Norworld have their upright fridge uh, bracket system, which we're gonna fit a Dometic upright fridge there. Um, at the rear of it will be three lithium batteries at uh, giving us 300 amp hour. The power system will be on the back of this uh, canopy, which is the front of the, of the headboard. That'll have DC charger, AC charger, solar, 3000 watt inverter, We'll have 12 volt outlets and the Splunk outlets. We'll have a GPO on the driver's side and the passenger. Um, the passenger side outlet will be for the induction cooktop, which is going next to the fridge. There'll be two pull out drawers with pantries to have all cutlery, food, um, and, uh, any, and prep board. There'll be a sink. So all the, all the uh, utensils and any equipment that he requires to cook with will be all on the passenger side. We're leaving the driver's side empty for storage. On this roof of the canopy itself is getting a TJM air compressor, heavy duty twin compressor with air tank. Uh, and that'll be powered up obviously by the power system into the canopy itself. Um, and then it'll also be a drop down table. So we're just trying to utilize uh, as much space on the roof as possible. We find that everyone loads at the bottom and it's a dead, dead space. So we're trying to make it as user friendly as possible, yet considering that what Alex does, because he tows with a van, um, most of the time, I think most equipment will be in the van itself. There'll only be a little bit of stuff in here. Um, and then if he do, he's doing uh, on his own, going out and, and traveling and four-wheel driving, a bit of fishing, he can throw the, his uh, gear in there. Put all these four drives, you know what I mean? Here I am with the electric car. I wonder if people here are going to spit on it. <laughs> hey, mate, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, good. Um, what is the exhibitor's entrance? The exhibitor's entrance. Where, do you know where the exhibitor is? That's the one? Oh, awesome. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome, man. Thank you. What is this E? Is it E23? I wonder if this is E23. Because uh, do they have their own one or? What's going on, mate? How are you? All right? So as you can uh, see where we are, TJM. I told you that I would have a, they had a bit of a surprise for me. So uh, what have we got? 300 series. Chopped, dual cab. Still work in progress and uh, the build is uh, getting there. You're saying I'm going to be driving this? We're going to be driving this. How it's good is that? Dual cab conversion. Uh, it's got a four inch lift, 35 inch tires, um, electronic control uh -huh. dampening system. We've got the canopy on the back. Can I have a look here? Let's open it up. <laughs> I have to sit in there. Well, it's going to be hard to get in, but... <laughs> yeah, they put this on for you. Yeah, that was for yeah. me. <laughs> That's for me, but... Uh... Woo! 
How good is this? <laughs> We've got a superior lift kit in it, four inch. So you're dampening your shock control. He's digitally controlled here under your dashboard. So at your fingertips, your towing, off-roading, you can adjust the suspension front and rear as you wish. Show me more, show All me right, more. All right, let's go. Um... <laughs> Mate, there plenty of room, huh? Nice. So it says your dual cab conversion. You press the little button there, Alex. This one? Yeah, press that. Go open the hey. compartment for a little bit more storage. Down the bottom. Yeah, there. let me do that again. You ready? Huh. You ready? Yeah, that's right. Just in case you know. Pew! And the front, you got all your work lights. Oh shit. Front light bar, you get your Starlink. So you've got Wi Fi anywhere you go around Australia. Mobile. So Star Starlink is... Uh, Starlink fitted to the vehicle. Uh, so you've got... Uh, so I can connect to, to that and everything? And everything. So and then you, the car's going to be have, on? have the Wi-Fi, you can drive around, connect it to the Wi-Fi. So you'll have a, a satellite signal anywhere in Australia. While you're touring. How good. Holiday. How good. Mate, this is insane. Come around the front, let's have a look. Always, uh, always uh, wanted a Land Cruiser as well, mate, you know? This ain't just any Land Cruiser, though. This is legit. Around the front. We've got a TJM bar, the Ventura bar, 12,000 pound winch, beast driving lights, EUHF, GME unit, with the light bar, solar panels at the top there for your battery system in the back, with a snorkel for your deep water crossings. So you've got here the 35 inch tyres. Almost bigger than me. Yeah, toy <laughs> open countries. My thing's tough as. The back, upright fridge, with a Victron power system. So you've got 300 amp hours of battery of lithium in the back. Hey. Obviously the solar, AC and DC charger. And we've got the most important thing at the back here. <laughs> Check this out. Hey. 12 volt and 240, Green Mountain Grill smoker. <laughs> Cooking with Volk anywhere you want, smoking That's meat. That's it. Cooking with Volk coming to you from anywhere in Australia. And um, Out the bush, camping. Uh, finally, rest of the power system, your batteries, your twin compressor with the air tank. So you got any flats or need to inflate anything for the kids? Just plug in your airline. Oh, wow. Power up your um. Obviously the the beds and that as well, blow up beds, blow everything. Blow beds. Huh? Any of the uh, inflatable uh, jumping water castles, get yeah. a little uh, jumping or, castles out there. The so farm. Soccer balls, footballs, anything oh, you yeah. want. The solar, the 240 power, the 12 volt charging for your phones. And we've got a fair bit of gear to go in there still, but we'll be done hopefully the next Did couple of weeks. In the back here, we've got a Victron system. It's running uh, 300 amp hours of lithium. Uh, we've got on the backboard there, you'll see the, the link system with the powering in. We've got AC charger, DC charger. We've got uh, MPT, MPPT uh, solar. Your panels have got 520 watts of uh, solar up on, on top of the vehicle. And your Starlink uh, We've got some solar up there. Up the top of the canopy there. So like, uh, so what, what was uh, going in here, did you say? So we've got uh, two pull-out kitchens coming in there. So we've got an induction cooktop, a sink, a, a prep board. We've also got a pack-out system from Milwaukee. So you can put all your utensils in there, food, storage. Um, it'll be double stacked, so you can remove them out of the shelf, put them on the table. And we've got a, uh, a Darcy table going in the top of the canopy. Fold down, pull it out. So utilising the space at the top of the canopy, that's usually not um, just left empty. So you can literally get anything on these bloody you things. Get anything mate. in there. Work and play. And you, and you guys do, do it all. So do you just all, chuck all everything in, in. All in house, all bespoke. Customise your power system. You can go to a larger power system or a much smaller, simpler one. Whatever you need. So What do you need? You want a smoker? You want a barbecue? You want a fridge? You so want a compressor? Whatever you want. Sorted. Have you seen a smoker on a... No, no. It's, could this, um, could this be a first? We've been here for three days and everybody's uh, thrilled to see it. That, uh, and they, then they didn't know that you can actually have a 12 volt smoker. I mean, it's I not think, 240. I think I might, I don't know. You might correct, be the first. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I might have, I might be the first to have a smoker on the car. Cooking with Volk, TJM sorted it out for you guys and myself. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Currently at uh, 300. 300 degrees of Fahrenheit, and we're smoking some chorizos and uh, some truffle sausages. Beef, truffle, beef, and truffle, and beef, cheese. truffle, and cheese. Beef, truffle, and cheese, eh? Smoking at 300, internal temp 150, ready to eat. Yeah, so it's a pellet smoker. It's a Green Mountain Grill Trek, latest version, 2.0. Uh, all controlled by Wi-Fi with the control panel here. When you're traveling, you run a 12 volt, and then when you're at home, just plug it into 240. I'm just thinking of all the content 
all the content we're gonna have. We're gonna try and break it at two, I reckon. Hey? Let's try and break it. We're gonna break it. We're gonna break it. We're gonna break it. Break, we're it. Gonna break the car. Wait, 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 wait. It's gonna make content as in like. Well, if we want it. Whoa, 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 I'm missing something. Okay, we'll, so we, we, you're not going to drive it on the dirt road and go, ooh, la, 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 la. We're going to go on the track and see what it can do. All right, yeah? We're going all out. Some forming. Some forming, yeah. All right, so what's happening? We're here. You can see I'm sweating, just finished training. You've seen the four-wheel drive. Uh, the Land Cruiser, absolute beast. Uh, TJM, Chippy Nord, and the boys there have done a great job. Uh, they always do, they do a lot of uh, the stuff for me, so uh, a couple more things that, that is going to be done to the, to the truck. Let me know what you want me to do with the thing. Obviously we're going to have a lot of cool activities, you've seen that there will be a smoker, there's going to have all these incredible things we're going to do. It's going to be the best thing you could have for some adventures. Let me know some adventures you want me to do. If you've got any ideas, if you've got any spots that you think would be good, let me know. But hey, if you want to see the content or you want to talk, chat to us, make sure you subscribe. Uh, be a part of it and uh, let's do some fun shit with it. So I'm really looking forward to it. Cannot wait till it's uh, finished and the activities we're going to get up to is going to be uh, really good. So stay tuned for all that. Let me know what you want me to do.